What should you know about Delta variant of coronavirus? The Delta variant, also known as B.1.617, was first detected last year in India, where it has been ravaging the nation and has since spread to dozens of other countries, appending plans for a return to normalcy. The variant has spawned another variant, known as Delta Plus, that has been reported in Britain, India, and the United States. Delta is also causing more infections in kids. More than 4 million children have been diagnosed with the coronavirus during the pandemic, and recent data from the American Academy of Pediatrics shows that infections in children have been steadily rising since early July. The strain has mutations on the spike protein that make it easier for it to infect human cells. That means people may be more contagious if they contract the virus and more easily spread it to others. Why the Delta variant is more dangerous? The Delta variant evolved through natural selection. Every time the genetic material of the SARS-CoV virus is replicated inside a host cell random mutations can occur that lead to a change in the structure and function of one or more of the viral proteins. When a mutation causes the virus to be more infectious, then that mutant will have an advantage over others and will be replicated more frequently and transferred to other hosts more effectively. The crown-like structures on the surface of SARS-CoV-2 are spike proteins that the virus uses to attach to, penetrate and infect healthy host cells. The Delta variant has a number of mutations compared to the original virus strain. In particular, it has mutations that alter the structure of a protein, called the spike, on the surface of the virus. The spike protein is responsible for binding to the surface of a host cell. Once bound to the host cell, the spike protein changes its shape and burrows into the host cell's membrane so that the virus can insert its genetic material into the cell, where it can be replicated to produce more viral particles. Delta spike protein binds to the host cell more tightly and inserts into the cell better. So, each time a Delta virus bumps into one of our cells, it has a higher probability of sticking and getting in so that it will be replicated. Delta's spike protein is also missing certain parts of its structure. That allows it to elude part of our body's immune system. All of these variations make the Delta strain significantly better at infecting and replicating when compared to the original strain, or even to other prevalent variants such as the Alpha strain. Is the Delta variant more contagious? Yes. The Delta variant is more contagious. The Delta variant is highly contagious, more than 2x as contagious as previous variants. Some data suggest the Delta variant might cause more severe illness and previous variants in unvaccinated people. In two different studies from Canada and Scotland, patients infected with the Delta variant were more likely to be hospitalized than patients infected with Alpha or the original virus that causes COVID-19. Even so, the vast majority of hospitalization and death caused by COVID-19 are in unvaccinated people. The Delta variant is now reported in 104 countries, according to a CDC tracker. Delta has become the dominant form of coronavirus in the US, UK, Germany, and other countries. In the UK, for instance, the Delta variant now makes up more than 97% of new COVID-19 cases, according to Public Health England. What are the symptoms of the Delta variant? The symptoms are similar to those seen with the original coronavirus strain and other variants, including a persistent cough, headache, fever, and sore throat. At the same time, COVID-19 patients in the UK have reported that some symptoms are slightly different for Delta, according to data from the ZOE COVID symptom study. Cough and loss of smell seem to be less common. Headache, sore throat, runny nose, and fever seem to be more common. The greatest risk of transmission is among unvaccinated people who are much more likely to get infected and therefore transmit the virus. Fully vaccinated people get COVID-19 known as breakthrough infections less often than unvaccinated people. People infected with the Delta variant, including fully vaccinated people with symptomatic breakthrough infections, can transmit the virus to others. Fully vaccinated people with Delta variant breakthrough infections can spread the virus to others. However, 
vaccinated people appear to spread the virus for a shorter time. This means fully vaccinated people will likely spread the virus for less time and unvaccinated people. How much effective are the vaccines against Delta variant? Vaccines are highly effective, including against the Delta variant. The COVID-19 vaccines approved or authorized are highly effective at preventing severe disease and death, including against the Delta variant. But they are not 100% effective, and some fully vaccinated people will become infected and experience illness. For all people, the vaccine provides the best protection against serious illness and death. Vaccines are playing a crucial role in limiting the spread of the virus and minimizing severe disease. Although vaccines are highly effective, they are not perfect, and there will be vaccine breakthrough infections. A full course of two of the most widely available coronavirus vaccines is about as effective against the more contagious Delta variant as it was against a previously dominant version of the virus, according to a study published in the New England Journal of Medicine. What doses of the Pfizer-BioNTech vaccine offer 88% protection against symptomatic disease caused by the Delta variant, compared to 94% against the Alpha variant that was first discovered in Britain and became dominant across the globe earlier this year. The A double dose of the Oxford-AstraZeneca vaccine was 67% effective against Delta, according to the British researchers, down slightly from an efficacy rate of 75% against the Alpha variant. Are the masks effective? Given what we know about the Delta variant, vaccine effectiveness, and current vaccine coverage, layered prevention strategies, including wearing masks, are needed to reduce the transmission of this variant. Even after Delta become the most dominant variant, fully vaccinated people were five times less likely to be infected with COVID, ten times less likely to be hospitalized because of it, and ten times less likely to die of virus-associated complications compared with unvaccinated people the CDC found. On 23-8-2021 the U.S. Food and Drug Administration approved the first COVID-19 vaccine. The vaccine has been known as the Pfizer-BioNTech COVID-19 vaccine and will now be marketed as community for the prevention of COVID-19 disease in individuals 16 years of age and older. The vaccine also continues to be available under Emergency Use Authorization EUA, including for individuals 12 through 15 years of age and for the administration of the third dose in certain immunocompromised individuals. So it's a good idea to get vaccinated on time because prevention is better than cure. Thank you. Please like, comment, share and subscribe my channel and press the bell icon to get new video updates.